The Kings are a really good defensive team. What made it hard to generate some chances tonight against Redick? I just thought that their tracking and their D's gaps were really good, and we refused to put pucks in behind them and, and go in and check on the forecheck. Do you find at this point in camp the guys are sort of looking forward to get to the real thing? I do think guys are starting to look forward to Tuesday night. You know, a couple of last practices before. You know, for a lot of guys, this was their last exhibition game. And, um, you know, it's more about timing for veterans and for guys that are trying to make the team, it's more about impressing. When you only have two shots in the first period and it's, you know, only two more midway through the second, what are you, what are you trying to reinforce to, to, to kind of get a kickstart? Manage the puck and to move quick. I, I thought in the first we were asleep. Uh, you know, we weren't moving our legs. We said at one point, the defensemen aren't moving their feet and the forwards aren't skating away from them to create any kind of speed. So it wasn't a very good game by us in, in that sense. Um, but, you know, we're looking at how we're progressing, and not this game, but how we're progressing throughout camp to get ready for game one. Is generally feel okay? Generally feel okay. Don't, don't like tonight. I didn't like uh, the game in New York, too. I didn't like. For most teams, as you get to game six of a seven-game preseason slate, does the attention start to turn a little bit toward opening night? Uh, Systems-wise, just trying to play the right way every single shift. Um, I think uh, during training camp, you just have to take it day by day, though, because it's a you know it's a long camp and a long season, so you just you know prepare yourself the best you can every single day and stay in the moment. What was it like seeing Bergie recognized before the game? That was really cool. Um, you know, he's a really impressive guy, and, uh, you know, I was a, a fan my whole life, so I think that was uh, well-deserved and a, a really nice uh, thing they did. Is it still kind of natural to be thinking uh, about where you're supposed to be because you're still trying to figure some of this out, whether it's with your line mates or, or because of the new system? Uh, not really. I think um, I just try to go out there and, and, you know, react instead of just waiting and see what happens and, you know, just go to the puck as much as possible. Sometimes, obviously, you know, with new guys, uh, you know, you don't know what they're thinking out there. So it's uh, obviously going to take, uh, you know, it was good to get these two games and, and a couple of practices. So hopefully, you know, uh, we'll, be, we'll be good on Tuesday. To, to follow up on that, since, since you had the chance to play these two games, like what was really important? Would you really get out of it, especially playing with your line mates? Honestly, just to, to get some game time. I think, uh, you know, you can practice how much you want and, and do the scrimmages and, and work on that stuff. But, you know, um, just to get the games, uh, it's, it's a different, different thing, right? So uh, it was just good to, to be out there and, and get the rhythm a little bit going and, and uh, you know, just prepare myself and, and um, ourselves for, for Tuesday. When you say you got to be better on those two-on-ones, just side to side? Is that yeah, just side to side. Uh, be ready for any auction. Not just a shot, but, you know, any. For, for any player moving in, there's a sort of an orientation process. Goal is two. You know, the systems are different. For, uh, the situations are different. Feeling good about your game and, and the adaptation here? Yeah. Uh, I feel rather sharp. Like I said, I wasn't happy with a couple goals myself. Uh, you know, that's pretty what it's for. It's you got to get better, and uh, you learn things, and we move on.